You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. Hello everyone, welcome back. We're on with the Acorn Electron once again, and since last time we got together with this machine, I've picked up a few accessories for it, and here they are. So we'll start with the obvious one here. I've got myself an Acorn Electron Plus One expansion. Now the, this is an original expansion from back in the day, which gives me access to two cartridge ports, also a printer port and an analog uh, joystick port. And speaking of joystick ports, I've picked this little device up, which is from monsterjoysticks.com. And it is an analog to digital joystick converter, specifically Atari standard joystick. So this will just connect to the back of here and it will allow me to use regular Atari style joysticks with the Electron. At the minute, I'm not getting a lot of use out of it because from what I understand, quite a lot of the Electron games are designed to be used with a keyboard. I know there are some that use joysticks, but I would appreciate some advice with this because I'm wanting to use joysticks with more, with more games. So is there a way to patch games or anything like that? I've not come across that yet, but I am looking into that to be able to use joysticks by mapping maybe some keys to the joystick uh, directions and fire button, that would be great. And while I'm talking about how I've got some advice for this machine, the wonderful people at star.org um, community on, on the internet, uh, they gave me a lot of advice. There's a nice friendly forum on there and um, lots of great information, a great resource for, for information. And also, I'd like to thank Dave Hitchens from that forum who kindly sent me these, these screws for the Plus One. Because when I bought it, originally it didn't come with screws. And I made some inquiries regarding what sizes and dimensions of screws I would need just to, to sort that out. And he, he kindly said, oh, I've got some spares I can send you. And uh, he's kind of just popped them in the post for me. So that was very kind of him. The next thing I got, which is the main sort of thing we're gonna look at today is the Elk SD Plus One. Now this, I'll put all the links to these things, by the way, in, in the description, but this is from ramtopretro.uk, and it's basically an SD card device that plugs into the cartridge port here. And what it does is um, it'll then act as basically like a floppy device or, or, or a cut, well, or a cartridge device and you can put various disc images onto it with this this particular one um, is designed for the plus one there is one that you can get for the regular electron without the plus one it also provides 16k of sideways ram which you can i'm still learning all about how electron and, and acorn machines work with all that uh, so i've got a lot to learn but so i'm very i'm very excited to to explore but basically, for my purposes, straight away we'll be playing some games. And as you'll see, you can load games up very, very quickly. And it's a really, really good device. So let's set up the machine behind here. And then I will show you a couple of games running using the Elk SD Plus One cartridge. So here you can see the Acorn Electron is up and running. And because we've got this line here, that's indicating that the Elk SD Plus One is working. What the Elk SD Plus One provides, as well as being a way of loading software into the Acorn Electron, it also gives you a 16K RAM expansion. So this makes the Acorn Electron 48K. And to, um, to browse the, the the drive here I believe you press shift and break gives you a list of games now unlike a lot of 
SD card solutions for retro computers. You can't just stick a load of images, independent images onto the SD card with this. You have to put them in a particular file on the SD card and you create this, this file using some software and you can, you can do it yourself and add add all sorts of software onto, onto the SD card to be able to be played. So for example, in this situation, we are looking at the actual menu for the file system that I've added on. And to select a game, it's simply a matter of scrolling down or up and starting the game. So let's just play arcade in a good game. Let's see how quick that comes up. There you go. Something else. Possible mission. So yeah, I'm really pleased, pleased with this purchase. It's a great little device. It means I can run all my, all my Electron games via this, and it's given me a little bit of room for expansion and other things. Like I said, I'm still, I'm still waiting to make use of this, but you know, I've got it, so you know, it's handy there. So anybody who knows how to, how to get games converted to joystick or which games natively support joystick, I'd be very interested to know. So leave a comment. Um, that's it really. That's all I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching. Please have a look at the description for information about these products as well as links to my social media and ways you can contact me, including ways you can support the channel if you so wish. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.